From world leaders to tech giants like ex-CEO Elon Musk, who spent Thanksgiving at Mar-a-Lago with the Trump family. The line to meet with Trump is long. On Wednesday, Trump hosted Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg at his Florida resort for dinner. Trump's incoming deputy chief of staff, Stephen Miller. We'll see what comes of that. And Mark, obviously, he has his own interests and he has his own. I can't believe Jake tweeted what he tweeted yesterday where he's like, oh, the establishment has failed. I'm like, like... I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know how we, I just, I don't know what to say about that. That's funny. I've been trying to figure out why I'm more optimistic now than I was before the election. Even though I was so against the guy who won, I know now MAGA is not my mortal enemy and neither is the extreme left. My mortal enemy is the establishment and they have been defeated. Dude, to say that, to say that the Donald Trump administration is not the establishment is so crazy. Like they're literally they like they already ran the country okay not only did they run the country but they didn't do a great anti-establishment job at it it's like no different than saying oh donald trump is going to drain the swamp just give your twitch channel the jank he owns you and is the left he is the left he is he is i'm not I, i'm not the left what is did he say other it's not just that the establishment candidate lost is that their media is mortally wounded yeah Fox News, on the other hand, not the establishment media, it seems. The source of their strength was not insipid politicians like Mitch McConnell and Joe Biden. The source of their strength was their propaganda machine, the mainstream media. Now online media is strong enough that their oppressive monopoly on American mind has been broken. Now we're in the jungle. They hate that. I love it. This uncontrolled marketplace of ideas is where I'm home. I'd rather be the populist woods than in the establishment prison. <sighs> Is this whole meeting the new president-elect at their residence thing kind of weird? Is it more common than I realized? It's unique because we haven't really had a situation like this before where a former president who has already like established relations with these other uh, global leaders before has uh, lost an election and then won it again. So that's the reason why it's like uh, it's both unique, but also it's not unique because it's Donald Trump. I think it's more so like, has it happened before? I, I assume it has happened before. I don't know enough. Why does it have 68,000 likes? What do you think, dude? Because it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. You say anything right wing on Twitter, you're going to get a lot of love. I, I, I thought we established this right wing. He is the left. I think he's he's booming out. OK, he's just like he's he's got he has spent so much of his time duking it out with establishment Democrats for understandable reasons, because the Democratic Party is a, a direct hurdle in front of any sort of leftist mobilization. And he sees them as his immediate enemy. But while I also understand where he's coming from on that front, um, I don't have the same optimism that he has in terms of uh, this misplaced optimism that he has in terms of like the Republicans winning. I think the Republicans are going to put the left in jail, you know? I don't think the establishment has been defeated. I see the situation as more uniparty than anything else. I see it as, I see it as two sides of the same coin. Uh, with one side being far worse than the other, for sure. But the side that is far worse than the other is not the Democratic Party. The side that's far worse than the other is the Republican Party. It's not like the Republicans hide their their rampant corruption. Like, things might change, but not for the better. Things will change for the worse. That's the way I see it. I, I see it as, like, Donald Trump uh, uh, centralizing power even harder than previous Republican administrations have at the behest of corporations and the wealthy. And maybe he'll, you know, throw some populist crumbs here and there in the process. One thing that he actually uh, changed was the messaging around deficit hawking and the messaging around social safety nets. Like, he was like, I'm never touching social security, for example, right? Um, that's new for the Republicans. Now, does that mean that he's not going to touch social security? Probably, he probably will touch social security as long as it's like in the interest of corporations. Yeah, fascism has always used anti-elite rhetoric. They contort leftist critique into opposition to parasites, both unworking elites and unproductive uh, poor people, reducing leftism to an aesthetic. Producerism? I don't know why he says this kind of stuff. I just don't, like... I, I've known this man for my whole life. This is my uncle. So I just can't, I don't see him becoming like a, like a right wing grifter, but I totally understand why people who are unfamiliar uh, with him or know his like perspective at all, see this kind of shit and arrive at that conclusion. Maybe I'm on, uh, Maybe I'm on the copium train, you know, but I just don't think he's like, I, I don't know. I just don't think he's like, uh, I'm too unk pilled. I'm not a like if 
if if he was not if he was not my uncle if he was like some random content creator i'd be like he's going down the jimmy door route for sure like that's what i would think but knowing him personally i don't think he's uh, uh doing that but you know only time will tell does that make sense just don't turn against us abolitionists like he has i mean the funniest thing is like if he's ever heard me talk to an abolitionist like lolo or whatever or even yourself cinema marxism he would probably understand where i'm coming from a little bit better but i also don't see any valid reason to single out abolitionists or anarchists in general to uh to be like those are my enemies like to portray myself as like more moderate and more rational than they are i i i have my disagreements but i still understand that uh people like yourself uh are are directly at the forefront of moving american society in a positive direction i'm never going to and cast aside people that are uh, i'm never going to cast aside people even if i have disagreements with them on uh, as, as long as they are fighting the good fight you know this is one of the things that i have tried to maintain as a position to actually create a big tent uh within uh some sort of some semblance of like anti-capitalist uh movement in this country own company and he has his own agenda but he's made clear that he wants to support the yeah. national renewal of America under President Trump's leadership. It's a drastic change from Trump's first term when he- You shit on anarchists all the time, what are you on about? Yeah, except I have a, a fuck ton of anarchists in this community as well, so I don't know what the fuck you're on about. Like, I've literally housed anarchists in my house, and, uh, and I'm friends with them. Yes, I'm making jokes, but of course you're an anarchist, so clearly- you don't understand the concept of jokes. You're about to be like, this is an oppressive hierarchy. Humor, especially when considering uh, the, the ableist nature of, of those who cannot actually comprehend context and nuance and uh, humor devoid of tone indicators is actually... Humor devoid of tone indicators is actually a, an ableist uh, reinforcement of, of unjustifiable hierarchies. We do not democratically agree on uh, a, a humorous quip clashed with big tech companies and even sued several of them alleging censorship we're going to hold big tech very accountable this time around a long list of silicon valley billionaires poured money into the trump campaign and flooded social media with congratulatory notes when he won chris lewis is a tech policy expert who worked for the obama campaign i think they're engaging in smart politics. I think what the public should see is that uh, folks who have access uh, often get preferential treatment from a Trump administration. Elon Musk even scored a position advising the incoming administration as head of the newly created Department of Government Efficiency. He and Vivek Ramaswamy, who's a Republican businessman, will be heading down to Washington next week. At least they're planning to, to meet with House Republicans to talk about their plans to slash regulations. Oh, God.